Greetings, greetings, greetings to you all, and welcome to Morning Word with me, Pastor Colin. Yes, I am back with you again, amen, and it is a joy to be with you again. Um, I always look forward to these times where we can just share uh, a word and be encouraged uh, by the word, amen to that, and I want to thank you for taking the time to be with me today, amen as we receive the word of the Lord. Well, today we're going to be continuing on our topic, Encourage My Soul, which I started the last time that we were together. And it's always a good thing to be encouraged by the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord is rich with encouragement, directives and guidance and support. And uh, I'm telling you that when you can encourage your soul, in the word, amen, let in the word shape your life, direct your life, inspire your life. It will make such a significant difference, amen. So we are continuing with part two of Encourage My Soul. Now we started off by looking at Psalm 103, so we're going to continue now with Psalm 103 and verse 2. Psalm 103 verse 2 from the Amplified Classic says this, bless, affectionately, gratefully, praise the Lord, O oh, my soul, and forget not one of all of his benefits. Praise the name of the Lord. So let's think about that for a moment as we break down <coughs> some of the definitions of the word benefit or benefits. So the word benefits or benefit from the Hebrew, which is gemol um, and or, 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 or agamol, speaks of recompense, it speaks of reward, it speaks of strength and power, it speaks of an act of grace, it speaks to be well with, it says go well with, it says to deal well with and to make a thing good or right or beautiful and that is the Hebrew word uh, gamel or el or agamal these are all the definitions of the word the Hebrew word benefit so when we look at the Greek word now for benefit it speaks about uh, charis or agathos and it speaks of that which affords joy it speaks of pleasure it speaks of delight and sweetness it speaks of loveliness and favor, merciful kindness, the spiritual condition of the one governed by the power of divine grace. All of this is to do with the word benefit. Uh, bounty, it speaks of a gift of grace, a good deed, and it speaks of good constitution or a uh, good constitution or nature. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. This is live and I'm telling you, we are just going to flow. Amen. Praise God. The word benefit generally, after looking at all of those definitions, it generally refers to something advantageous or helpful. It can be a favorable result or an advantage gained from a particular action or situation or circumstance. So in the context of Psalm 103 and verse 2 that was read earlier, which says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not one of all his benefits. It implies remembering, my beloved brothers and sisters, and being grateful for all the positive outcomes, the blessings and the advantages that come from a relationship with the Lord, hallelujah, our God is great, and when we are in a relationship with him, we continue to bless his name, every fiber of our being blesses the name of the Lord, and so the phrase is benefits in this particular context, uh, to the, uh, refers to the various blessings, favor, and positive outcome that God provides to those who trust and follow him. Praise God. It encompasses the goodness, the mercy, the healing, 
the redemption and other positive aspects of God's nature and actions in the lives of believers. Praise the name of the Lord. <laughs> Psalm 68 and verse 19 reminds us from the King James, Blessed be the Lord, who daily loadeth us with benefits. Amen. Even the God of our salvation. And then the word selah is used. It means stop, pause, and think about that. Meditate upon that right now. Praise the name of the Lord. This verse that we've just read expresses gratitude and praise for God's ongoing daily provision of blessings and benefits, highlighting the idea that God continually showers his people with favor and goodness. Hallelujah. And as we've learned, the term sila at the end of the verse is thought to indicate a pause for reflection or meditation. It's good to reflect and meditate upon the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. So as we go back now to Psalm 103 and verse 2, what I love is that the psalmist David praises the Lord for his abundant mercies. On a few occasions here, he tells his soul, every fiber of his being, to bless the Lord and to forget not all his benefits. Don't forget his benefits. Amen. It's a good thing to be thankful. Amen. Every detail, every little thing, every big thing, whatever it is, give thanks. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you're improving, give thanks. If you're moving forward, give thanks. But give thanks. Hallelujah. And lift up the name of the Lord and don't forget his benefits. Amen. Towards you. You will observe that for more than half of the psalm, David stirs up his heart and his soul. He says, and all that is within him, all that is within me, bless the name of the Lord. That's a great way to encourage your soul, isn't it? Amen. Encourage your soul to bless the name of the Lord. Amen. And don't forget any of his benefits, my beloved brothers and sisters. Amen. Because the original Hebrew verb translated forget means to lose memory or remembrance of, but it can also mean ignore or cease to care about. Come on. The Lord's benefits represent all the good things that the Lord provides to aid or promote the well-being of his children. Amen. Are you not his child? Amen. I am, amen, and God is interested in my well-being. And therefore, I shout out today, and I urge my soul, I encourage my soul to bless the Lord, hallelujah, beyond measure, bless the Lord, hallelujah, and forget none of his benefits, amen. Whatever God has done, give him thanks. Give him praise, amen. We bless or we praise the Lord, by spending time in grateful remembrance of the mercies that we have received from him. Praise God. Because praise, in a sense, is similar to one aspect of the exercise of bodybuilding. <laughs> if we regularly stretch or flex and use our muscles, we won't lose muscle tone. Instead, we gain definition and we gain strength. And if we get the regular habit, come on, if we get into the regular habit of giving thanks to the Lord for his blessings and his benefits, we won't forget them. Amen. Do it on a regular basis and we won't forget them. They will be there. They will be in our remembrance. Amen. Hallelujah. Encourage your soul to bless the Lord today, my beloved brothers and sisters. If we do not give thanks, if we fail to praise the Lord, if we ignore his benefits or worse, cease to care about them, we are sure to forget them. Amen. I'm encouraging you today. It's encourage my soul. Encourage your soul to bless the Lord. Amen. Just say that with me. I encourage my soul to bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Beyond measure. Amen. 
hallelujah, take that praise to a different level. Praise the name of the Lord. And so when we think about that powerful psalm, what are some of the Lord's benefits that we ought to remember? Well, David actually shares those things with us as we go into Psalm 103 even further. From verses 3 to 9, from the Amplified Classic. He says, who forgives every one of all your iniquities, who heals each one of all your diseases. Amen. Who redeems your life from the pit and corruption, who beautifies and dignifies and crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth, your necessity and desire at your personal age and situation with good so that your youth is renewed. Hallelujah. It's like the eagle strong, overcoming and soaring. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord executes righteousness and, just, and justice, not for me only, but for all who are oppressed. Amen. He made known his ways of righteousness and justice to Moses, his acts to the children of Israel. Bless God. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, gentle in mercy, and loving kindness. Bless the Lord. He will not always chide or be contending, neither will he keep his anger forever or hold a grudge. Come on, somebody. There's a lot to give God thanks for. Come on. He forgives every one of our iniquities. He heals each one of our diseases. Amen. He redeems, redeems our lives from the pit and corruption. He beautifies, he dignifies and crowns us with loving kindness and tender mercies. Come on. He satisfies our mouth with good things. Bless God. Hallelujah. So wherever you are, whatever you are doing right now, I urge you, I encourage you to encourage your soul to bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God is a good God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. In his mercy, the Lord holds back the punishment we deserve. Come on. And he pours out his unfailing love. In verse 10 to 14 of Psalm 103, he says, and this is from the Amplified Classic, he has not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. Come on. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great are his mercy and loving kindness toward those who reverently and worshipfully fear him. Praise God. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions, hallelujah, from us. And as a father loves and pities his children, so the Lord loves and pities those who fear him with reverence, worship and all praise god for he knows our frame come on somebody he earnestly remembers and imprints on his heart that we are dust hallelujah you see so we have so much to be thankful for as god's children amen come on somebody whatever you are challenged with today lift up the name of the lord because when you lift up the name of the Lord, I'm telling you, he is at his best in our lives. And that's why we encourage our souls to bless the Lord today. May we never forget his forgiveness. Amen. Hallelujah. Colossians 1, 13 and 14 from the Amplified Classic. It says, the Father has delivered and drawn us to himself out of the control and the dominion of darkness and has transferred us into the kingdom of the Son of his love, whom we have our redemption, hallelujah, through his blood, amen, which means the forgiveness of our sins. Let us not forget what God has done for us. He has redeemed us. He has forgiven us through Christ, amen, and amen, and amen. And may we always remember when we look at Isaiah 53, 5 from the Amplified Classic, that he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our guilt and iniquities. The chastisement needful to obtain peace and well-being for us was upon him. And with the stripes that wounded him, 
we are healed and made whole. Amen. That is a benefit. Amen. What Jesus did for us. Glory be to God. Maybe not, maybe forget not his benefits, which include redemption from death. Amen. Hebrews chapter 2, verses 14 and 15 says this. And this is from the Amplified Classic, Hebrews 2, 14 and 15. Since therefore these his children share in flesh and blood in the physical nature of human beings, he himself in a similar manner partook of the same nature. Come on, that by going through death he might bring to naught and make of no effect him who had the power of death, and that is the devil. Come on, somebody. And also that he might deliver and completely set free all those who through the haunting fear of death were held in bondage throughout the whole course of their lives. Amen. We are redeemed. Hallelujah. We are made free. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. That is a benefit. Let us not forget that. Amen. May we never ignore or cease to care about his loving kindness and tender mercies. Amen. Psalm 63, verses 3 and 4 says this, Because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. So will I bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. We bless the name of the Lord today. A genuinely grateful heart remembers always to praise the Lord for his goodness, but forgetting his benefits, ignoring them or ceasing to care about them, waters down our praise. Come on, somebody. In Deuteronomy, Moses warned the people that forgetting is the first step toward spiritual catastrophe. Hear me today. Listen to this very carefully. Moses warned the people that forgetting is the first step towards spiritual catastrophe. Let me say that. Deuteronomy 4 and verse 9 and also verse 23 uh, uh, from the Amplified Classic says this. Here's verse 9 of Deuteronomy 4. Only take heed and guard your life diligently lest you forget the things which your eyes have seen and lest they depart from your mind and heart all the days of your life. Teach them to your children and your children's children. And verse 23 of Deuteronomy 4 says this, Take heed to yourselves, lest you forget the covenant of the Lord your God, which he made with you and make for yourselves a graven image in the form of anything which the Lord your God has forbidden you. My, 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 my. So when we fail to praise the Lord and forget all the good things that he provides for our well-being, we reveal a deeper heart problem. Our neglect reflects apathy and indifference which end in spiritual death. <laughs> Hebrews 2 verses 1 to 3, has this to say. And this is from the Amplified Classic, Hebrews 2, 1 to 3. Since all this is true, we ought to pay much closer attention than ever to the truths that we have heard, lest in any way we drift past them and we slip away. For if the message given through angels, the law spoken by them to Moses, was authentic and proved sure, and every violation and disobedience receive an appropriate, just, and adequate penalty, how shall we escape appropriate retribution if we neglect and refuse to pay attention to such great a salvation as is now offered to us, letting it drift past us forever? For it was declared at first by the Lord himself, and it was confirmed to us and proved to be real and genuine by those who personally heard him speak. Wow, that's powerful. 
when we forget his benefits, my beloved brothers and sisters, when we remember, when we forget not, sorry, when we forget not his benefits, my beloved brothers and sisters, when we remember his mercy, his compassion, his loyal love, forgiveness, and salvation, we can't help but have our hearts renewed and our lives lifted as we praise and bless the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Our God is a good God. First Chronicles chapter 16, we're going to be looking at now. Just a few verses from there as we are coming down. First Chronicles 16 from verse 8 to 13 in the first instance. It says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call on his name. Make known his doings among the peoples. Sing to him. Sing praises to him. Meditate on and talk of all his wondrous works and uh, devoutly praise them. Amen. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of the, those rejoice who seek the Lord. Amen. Seek the Lord and his strength. Yearn for and seek his face and to be in his presence continually. Amen. Earnestly remember the marvelous deeds which he has done, his miracles and the judgments he uttered as in Egypt. O oh, you offspring of Abraham and of Israel, his servants, you children of Jacob, his chosen ones. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord. Encourage your soul to bless the Lord. Give thanks and remember all of his benefits. Look at verse 24, verses 24 to 29 of First Chronicles 16. And it says this, declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all peoples. Amen. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is also to be reverently feared above all so-called gods. Amen. For all the gods of the people are lifeless idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Amen. Honor and majesty are found in his presence. Amen. Strength and joy are found in his sanctuary. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Amen. Ascribe to the Lord the glory that is due to his name. Amen. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of and in holy array. Amen. Glory be to God. We serve a wonderful God. Amen. No matter where we are, no matter what is going on, God's love extends beyond anything that we could ever imagine. And then we look at verses 34 to 36 on the Amplified Catholic of 1 Chronicles 16. These are powerful things to remind us to forget not the benefits of God, but to gratefully appreciate our God. Amen. It says, oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy and loving kindness endure forever. And say, save us, O God of our salvation. Gather us together and deliver us from the nations that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel forever and ever. And all the people said, Amen. And praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I hope your soul is, in, is praising the Lord. Encourage your soul to praise the Lord. Encourage your soul to bless his holy name. Amen. Forget not any of his benefits. Amen to that. Glory be to God. What a mighty God we serve. Remember, bless, affectionately, gratefully praise the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not one of all of his benefits. Amen and amen and amen. Let's pray. Hallelujah. I'm so excited about this. Amen. I'm a stern up in my heart and in my mind, because I'm encouraging myself also. Amen. Hallelujah. This is not just for you, it's for me too. Glory be to God. Almighty and everlasting Father, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude and affection. 
Today, I lift my soul to bless and gratefully praise you. I purposefully remember and acknowledge every single one of your benefits in my life. Lord, you are the source of all blessings, and I am thankful for your abundant grace, mercy, and love. Help me, dear God, to never forget the countless ways you have blessed me, the seen and the unseen, the known and the unknown. Amen. And also the countless times you helped those in times past and throughout the scriptures. Amen. May my soul continually resonate with praise affectionately and gratefully acknowledging your goodness. Open my eyes, Lord, to recognize and appreciate your benefits in every aspect of my life, the big and the small, the ordinary and the extraordinary. Thank you, Lord, for your unending favor and kindness. I bless your holy name with all that is within me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. And amen. Hallelujah. I give the Lord praise. Remember, encourage your soul to bless the Lord and forget not any of his benefits. Amen, which we talked about earlier. I pray that the Lord will bless you. I pray that the Lord will bless you with so much favor and grace. Amen that your lives will be transformed right now, even just listening to these scriptures. Amen. There should be an excitement inside of you. Amen. I pray the Lord will cause his face to shine upon you and keep you in perfect peace. So until next time, amen, from Morning Word with me, Pastor Colin Francis, I want to say thank you for joining me. I pray that you will share, 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 and be a blessing to somebody today. Stay blessed. Stay focused and stay safe amen and once again share 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 and be a blessing to somebody today bye for now